Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And I'm Fast Calendar. And today we are going to be looking at the three different Winston Churchill blends from Davidoff Cigars. So we're here in the beautiful Dominican Republic and we've been uh, with Klaus now for the last five days and he's just probably about had enough of us but this is on our last video hit list to cover <laughs> <laughs> to cover these three blends. As uh, many of you know that uh, Davidoff just released a new limited edition for 2019. However, we're also going to be taking a look at the original Winston Churchill and the late hour as well. So Klaus, take it away. What do you want me to say? I mean, we're looking at the Winston Churchill line, or part of the Davidoff iconic uh, line series. And Davidoff has created uh, three beautiful cigars, and each cigar is very distinct. We have two that are part of their regular uh, line productions, and then we have one that was just released for uh, this year, uh, the limited edition 2019 Winston Churchill The Traveler. And then uh, why are there three separate uh, lines? Are they different smoking experiences, different times of day, or what's the kind of story behind each? They're all very different from each other. Uh, first of all, we are looking right now at two lines that are the original Winston Churchill and the Winston Churchill The Late Hour. They're very similar in blend, but for very different moments, because one is gonna be a lot smoother and the other one's gonna be a lot more intense and I'll explain why that happens even though they're using very similar tobaccos. Um, however, this one is completely on its own. This is a completely separate blend and it has a completely different inspiration behind it as well. Were all three blends created by the uh, same blender? They all have been created by the same master blender, Eladio Diaz. Of course, in conjunction with the team in Dominican Republic and also Switzerland. And we'll provide a link below for an interview that uh, I did with uh, Klaus here with Eladio Diaz as well, so definitely check that out. So blend? Yeah, let's touch on the blends. There are going to be uh, three separate reviews of each one of these cigars, so again, please check the links below. So, if we are going to go a little bit deep into the blend, we're going to have this cigar that's going to be a cigar made out of four different countries, seven types of tobacco, but four different countries, which means that it's going to have an Ecuadorian wrapper, it's going to have a binder that is Mexican, and then in the filler, we're going to have three Dominican tobaccos and two Dominican uh, and two Nicaraguan tobaccos. So again, we're trying to focus on Winston Churchill, the man. And what was he? He was a person that basically had many different characters. He was a very versatile man that could uh, act in different locations and, different, and adapt to the situation. So we are taking tobaccos from many different regions and basically putting in them all into one man, right? And then what's interesting about the cigar is that they, it is a much softer cigar because it is from the bottom of the leaf. We're looking at a blend that is 100% seco. Ah, okay. Exactly. So even though we have seven types of tobacco, it is very smooth blend and it's probably one of the smoother and more even blends that Davidoff has in their regular line production. We've got uh, three Robusto uh, size cigars here to try, but what uh, different Vitolas is this cigar available in? This cigar is, uh, in long filler, it's uh, available in four different sizes. Um, uh, petit, I believe uh, a Petit Corona or something to right now. Petit Corona is a smaller size than the Robusto. We have a Toro and then we have an original Churchill size. And then in short filler, we also have uh, Petit Panatella and also a Bellicoso. It is a smaller Bellicoso. Okay. So out of the three different blends, that's one with the most different Vitola sizes because the limited edition is just, just one. one Robusto. In the late hour right now, it's only three. So it is a Robusto, a Toro, and a Churchill size. Okay. For the late hour, we're looking at basically almost exactly the same blend, uh, seven types of tobacco, four different countries, the same countries, the same types of tobacco. However, what makes the cigar very different is that the whole cigar is a level or two higher up in the plant. Okay. Mm. So even though the profiles in regards to locations in the palate are going to be very similar. You're going to be looking at a much more fuller bodied and intense smoke in this. And then 
to also add on to it, there's one tobacco in here, which is the Condega from Nicaragua, that we age six months in a whiskey barrel. And that adds a whole nother intensity and also a sweet and spiciness to the smoke. And uh, so would you smoke these uh, at a particularly different time of day or a different occasion, different accords, different pairings? Definitely. I would obviously smoke for milder occasions, more relaxed occasions. Uh, the original Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. This is probably a cigar for earlier in the morning or earlier in the afternoon. And then when stronger flavors have been introduced, uh, whether you're at a dinner, have, having a heavy dinner, or bringing stronger drinks into the mix like a bourbon or a whiskey, I mean, obviously whiskey, um, we would probably start with the late hour. Mm -hmm. Of course, the late hour is a cigar that inspired Winston Churchill at the late hour in those moments that he needed uh, to really think and meditate uh, with his whiskey and always with his cigar. Of mm. course, he was never without his whiskey and he was never without his cigar. So, obviously a stronger blend and also for stronger, more intense occasions. Mm. Of course, except for breakfast where he's more partial to champagne. <laughs> Just like yourself, Sean. Well, you can have the champagne with this one, right? Ooh. That's where your champagne comes with Paul Roger. Mmm, exactly. Mmm. Yeah. Right. And they're, they're the two kind of core regular lines. And then when we move into the limited edition, um, the Traveler, why, what's the kind of idea behind the Traveler's uh, kind of blended tobaccos? And again, if you could just help us uh, kind of frame when one may enjoy that particular cigar. The Winston Churchill, the Traveler, is a cigar that is inspired of four uh, moments that take you to different locations. So very similar like its original counterparts. The Western Church of the Traveler has uh, three different countries, right? So basically we're traveling into the Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and also Mexico. The big difference is that the wrapper, in this case, is Dominican instead of Ecuadorian. Yeah. So we're going into the land of Yamasa here, um, right? Yeah. And uh, what's really cool about this is that not only is just a cigar a great limited edition, it is a blend to be deserved to be called limited edition and we will taste it in a moment. But also even the packaging and everything around it is inspired for traveling. Mm. So all the accessories that come with it, um, the packaging have the stamps of the main locations that Winston Churchill used to come with. Uh, the cigar box itself, we're gonna probably be looking into it later, but it's inspired in leather traveling cases, mm. right? So you see the nice uh, surface. Mm. And then Thank inside, you. underneath the cigars, you can't see it unless I remove the cigars, comes with a Boveda pack. So even this box itself is meant for travel. That way your cigars are always humidified and well maintained, no matter where you are in the world. Fantastic. So class, thank you very much for that wonderful overview of the three different Winston Churchill blends. Uh, if, you, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, we'll be covering each one of these in further detail. Check out the links below where you'll be able to see class tell us about each different blend. With that being said, my name's CP. My name's Paul Anthony. And I'm Klaus Kellner. And I'll see you next time. Well, Charles Philippe and I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please also check out the full length documentary of how Davidoff makes cigars. And down here, there's a full playlist of our whole Dominican experience.